in this second stage of the demonstration we're going to be using the basic wireframe and surface data that was created from the importing of the RGIS file in stage one and we're going to be using this data to construct a new component for our roller skate this component is going to be the heel support which is a u-shaped component that goes around the back of the boot to give extra, extra strength and support for the ankle and the lower leg. During this stage two we're going to be using a combination of surface and solid modeling and we're going to be seamlessly switching between the two to help us construct the component. So first of all we're going to switch off the unnecessary data on the screen and switch on the data imported from the origins file. So we have a basic U-shaped surface there which we're going to first of all copy and paste so we have a direct copy on top of the original surface and then we're going to blank off one of these copies and use that later on in the demonstration. So the copy that remains, so we're going to select that again and we're going to turn that into a open solid. We need to give this solid a thickness now, so we're going to go to our solid toolbar and use a thicken command and specify a 4mm thickness for our solid. Next we're going to use one of the internal 2D wireframes to trim back our basic solid to give it more of an ergonomic shape. So to do that we can simply select the wireframe that we want to use as a trimming object and use the solid cut feature and we want the cut to go all the way through the solid and we want to keep inside the profile and not the outside so we want to switch off remove inside press OK and there we can see our solid has been cut into two pieces using that selected wireframe. To remove these sharp edges around our solids we're now going to create some fillets and we're going to use a 2mm fillet and simply hold down the shift key and pick all of the sharp external corners and apply and dismiss that and now we can see that we have a nice smooth rounded edge to our solid. Next we're going to bring back the copy of the original surface we made so we hit control L to bring that surface back onto the screen and now we're going to create a second solid from this remaining surface. So simply convert that into a solid and following the same procedure as before we're going to thicken this solid make sure it's active before you do that. But this time it's going to be slightly thinner in this case three millimeters and again we have a piece of wireframe which we're going to use to trim the solid using the cut operation as previously extrude both directions keeping the inside like so using the filleting operation the solid filleting operation we're going to remove the sharp corners again this time we're going to use a smaller radius because it's slightly thinner component. And dismiss that. 
so there we have uh, our two solids which we now need to merge together to make one complete component so we simply select a solid that is not active and we use the solid addition command like so again we want to use the solid filleting command this time we're going to remove this sharp edge where the two previously two separate solids were joined together we use a five millimeter radius this time so you can see that's one side done it gives us a nice smooth blend select the other side and dismiss. The next stage of the heel support design is going to require us to do some surface modeling. So to do that we're going to take our solid that we've created so far and we're going to just break that into individual surfaces and work on the components in surface mode. You can see we have some extra wireframe here to create some grooves in the back of our heel support. So first of all we're going to select the outer piece of wireframe plus the inner surface of our heel support. Um, in the Y projection we're going to project that wireframe onto that surface through the surface so there we can see the wireframe projected and wrapped onto our inner surface of our heel support. So we're going to select this wireframe that we've just created, plus we're going to select the outer surface of our heel support and blank everything off the screen so it's much easier and simpler to view. So you can see there we have a gap between the wireframe and the surfaces and now we're going to fill it between this gap from the wireframe to the surface. So to do that we're going to select the surface go to our filleting surface filleting option pick the wireframe a convex fillet of 5 millimeters preview that and that's exactly what we want and then OK and OK and now we're going to do the same with the remainder of the wireframe OK and OK And the last one, okay, so there we have the outer surface filleted to the internal wireframe created from pro the projection command earlier. We're now going to bring back the rest of the component by unblanking and these projected wireframe we created earlier are no longer required so we can simply select all those and delete them. Now you can see here we have a, a gap in our components and we can see through to the inside face. So we need to fill that gap and to do that we're going to create an offset of the inside face offset by two millimeters so to offset this surface we go to our general edits form 
click on the offset icon make sure copy is selected and we're going to offset inwards by minus two millimeters return that's now created a, another surface which we're going to select and reverse so it's pointing the white right way out and that surface as you can see now needs to be trimmed back to the five millimeter fillets we created earlier to do this we're going to create smaller internal fillets to remove this sharp edge so again we're going to go to our surfacing and filleting option select our inner surface as our primary and our secondary is going to be the fillet so we can do all this in one operation so we just need to simply select the remainder of the fillets like so and this time we're going to use a 2mm fillet it's going to be concave we're going to fillet all roots at once this time and then OK and there we have the surface trimmed back to the internal fillets to give us a completed closed model. The next operation is more easily done when the model or the component is a solid component. So we're going to select all our surfaces that we've created so far and we can simply convert that back into a solid. Okay, because we've created the solid from a collection of surfaces, it's asking us do we want to fix any faults in the solid. So we're just going to say yes to that. And the solid doctor will analyze our component to see if there are any gaps or bad areas of trimming in our solid which need to be fixed. So you can see we have three gaps that it's found and we're just simply going to choose the option to link any edges and heal any gaps. As you can see that operation has worked successfully and all the faults have been fixed. So now we can finish and exit out of the Solid Doctor. The last thing we're going to do is take the other piece of wireframe that we've not used and we're going to create an extrusion from this wireframe. And if we double click on the extrusion we're going to extrude equal lengths about the extrusion plane and OK that and then we're going to take this surface and we're going to subtract it from the solid so now we're doing a combination of surface and solid subtraction like so Okay, that brings us to the end of uh, the construction of our heel support component. The only final remaining thing is to choose a suitable colour to match the remainder of our roller skate. So we're going to switch on the rest of our skate and we're going to make it the same colour as this surface. So we just paste the attributes to our solid like so 
and there we have the finished heel support just delete that wireframe because it's no longer required so to summarize this stage of the demonstration we've used the basic wireframe and surface from the imported IGIS file uh, from this uh, basic geometry We've used a combination of surface and solid modeling operations to quickly and easily produce the component.